Hello, this is Ronald with Indicator Vault. And in this video, we are going to go over our divergence dashboard. You can see I've got it up here. I've got the one part uh, showing with one hidden at the moment. Got a multi time frame and a multi symbol. It's a two part dashboard. And you can see here, I've got the multi symbol one pulled up at the moment. And you can see also just an example here with the Euro five minute chart. And before I go too further, I wanted to point out uh, probably one of the better ways of viewing this. So for instance, most of these pairs, not all, and again, you can change all of these. If you don't want the, the default pair showing up, you can just certainly pull up the settings and change all of these to whatever you want. And then of course there's these other settings and we even have alerts for it as well. But divergence, if we you know, break it down as far as regular divergence, it's price making a run on stops or as far as simple terms, you know, for instance, in this bullish, it's making a lower low where the oscillator will be making a higher low. So they are, it's a crack in correlation as far as the oscillator, whatever it is. Of course, we have our own uh, built in. It's not showing uh, oscillator for this dashboard. And we're just plotting out the divergence, as we can see on the five minute chart here. Lower low in price, and the oscillator would have been making a higher low. So with that being a form of manipulation, one thing I want to point out here with the symbol is when looking at the age, you're, you're going to see, you know, for instance, the USD pairs. We, here we got the British pound, the US dollars, the second half of the pair. Typically when you see these, you know, and then, uh, the U.S. being the first in the pair, these should typically be opposite, right? Because the U.S. dollar is on the opposite side. And you can tell which one is being manipulated uh, the most recent with this. And so, for instance, even though, three, you know, on the five-minute chart here, 305 bars ago is quite a bit of ways since the last divergence, we can see here the British pound, the most recent is 11 bars ago. And so what that tells me is, you know, like the, the UCAD and the Swiss franc, they've been just following market structure very closely, at least on the five minute chart. They've been keeping track uh, very well with just market structure. They haven't done a whole lot of run on stops. They have not been manipulated that much, and especially not recently. But seeing, you know, for instance, this here, 11 bars ago on the five-minute chart, we have divergence. It's not this one. Um, you know, it, it, this is the euro. Uh, but it, again, even here, the euro, 332 bars ago right here. This was not a recent one. And so what's great about this dashboard is you can see the manipulation in real time. And not only that, if let's say you missed on this, well, since the US dollar is also part of the Euro pair, you could maybe get in on this bullish move since typically it will kind of have a similar correlation with the British pound since the US dollar is, you know, part of its pair as well. So, if you miss this, you can probably also expect some bullish moves with Euro, at least on the five minute chart in this example. If I hide this and bring up the multi time frame, now we're looking at just the Euro chart and the most recent divergences and what they are. And of course, even the suggested uh, stop loss and take profit for this. But for this example, 
Let's go out to the one hour chart for the euro. And take a look at this example. You can see for bullish, it will draw a green line where the divergence is taking place. You can see lower low than this low. And then for bearish, I believe it's the 30 minute chart. There we go, 30 minutes. We'll show, here we go, some bearish divergence with the red line. And then if you also notice, you remember on the one hour chart, we had the divergence from here to here. And now on the 30 minute chart, from here to here. So this is, you know, signaling big move up with the euro with both of these, you know, divergences happening on similar or, you know, close time frames, just, you know, dropping from the one hour to the 30 minute. So let me show a way of trying to get in a trade or spot moves. So if this is manipulation here, then really this is actually kind of the, the real low. This is just manipulation to run on stops before it reverses. So this is really the real low as far as, you know, uh, just a method to incorporate in your divergence trading. So we can look at the sensitivity here and right there. But a tip for finding high probability setups. As I scroll back over here. Again, this is the kind of the real low. We had the divergence show up here. And many times, another tip you will see price act very, you know, whipsaw, zigzag. It, you'll see it kind of just act squirrely for a little bit before it starts to follow structure again and make its move up. But when we see divergence, for instance, on the one hour and 30 minute in this example, drop down to a lower time frame. For instance, we're on the five minute here. Any order block or demand zone that forms below the real low, the low that it took out in uh, with this yellow line, that is the low. Those are going to be the highest probability ones for price to retrace to. So let's just walk through this real quick. Order block, yeah, forms it, but we don't see the break of structure. The high that formed the low does not get broken here. And in my mind, it doesn't get broken here either because this is all wicks above it. It's not until this high that created this low has a clear break of structure. And so was this order block or demand zone formed below the real low? Yes. We can see it's formed below that line. Price respects it, does dip pretty deep into it, but never goes below it again. And we actually see this take place again in this uh, fractal of price action. This high that caused this low has now been broken up here. Again, we're not looking at this wick. This break of structure body closes above here. This order block is formed, not, not all of it, but most of it is below the low. Look at that, respects the real low into the order block and takes off. And now we're looking at this because again, the one hour has given us bullish divergence right here. We've been able, and again, look at this after the zone forms, after the divergence forms, this candle immediately wicks into 
that five minute order block flies up. Now, another great confirmation I like to use with this, if you really want to get, uh, you know, boosted confluences and such, is putting on our harmonic dashboard. We can see not quite working out here, but we, we don't have anything form here. But if you remember the 30 minute offered here to here. So we go to that. And look at this. Right as the 30 minute bullish butterfly forms, the divergence has picked up from here to here. We already have divergence from here to here on the hourly 30 minute bullish harmonic pattern. We already just went over this price action on the five minute super precise entry, almost no draw down and totally flies up. So that's another confluence I like to have. You know, if you just really want to, uh, as far as this confidence getting in a move, you know, when you have both of these line up, it'll be super powerful because the harmonic patterns have these highs and lows formulated. And so sometimes you will actually get the divergence you're looking for from the peaks and the lows that they are calculating into uh, drawing out these patterns, right? And so you will see lots of times valid demand zones, you know, in the sense of a bullish move form right after these harmonic patterns are forming and right after uh, divergence is forming as well. So before I go, just again to go over the dashboard, you know, whatever pair you currently have up here. So for the euro, this is showing what is going on in all of the time frames on the euro in the most recent divergences. So for instance, like we said, this one, we'll see how it goes. Uh, right now it's kind of digging in deeper, but you know, the most recent 11 bars ago, bullish, you know, has formed. I don't believe any harmonic patterns are forming in here. Um, but obviously there's other confirmations you could use to get into a trade like that if you want. And then also the symbol, the multi-symbol dashboard where you can put in whatever pairs you want to watch in here and it will show you the most recent patterns forming on the current time frame that you have. So if you have the 30 minute, this will show the 30 minute patterns for all of these pairs if you had the daily on, it will show all of the patterns for the daily charts for these pairs. So this is our divergence dashboard, super handy that it actually, you know, uh, plots simple lines, doesn't clutter up your chart, but it, you know, plots the divergence for you automatically. So hope this video was helpful and until next time, best of luck trading.